Sea of Thieves has a ton of cosmetics, and even a lot of difficult to unlock cosmetics. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing what I believe are some of the most rare cosmetics that you're super unlikely to see around the Sea of Thieves. At number 10, we have the Ancient Vault Sails. These sails are incredibly cool looking. And I've probably only seen them while I play the game a couple of times. And the reason for that is that there is a difficult to complete commendation that is required to unlock them. And that's the Seeker of Vaults commendation. This commendation requires you to open 100 Gold Hoarders vaults with vault keys. But once you grind out an incredible amount of these, these beautiful sales will only set you back a small 49,000 gold. Some people might try and say that they should be free after that amount of grinding, but I think you should always be willing to support your local gold hoarder and his business. At number 9, we have Golden Hour Sales. Don't worry, this list isn't going to be all sales, but I had to add this one just because it's so different from everything else in the entire video for one simple reason. You have to get it outside of the game. Every once in a while, Sea of Thieves will host a photo contest on their Twitter with different themes, and then a select few winners of these contests will acquire these sales. I've looked at some of the submissions for these contests, and a lot of them are really cool. So if you want these sales, you're going to have to be a little bit extra creative and very, very lucky. Coming in at number 8, we have the Dark Adventurer set. I already know what you're going to say, this set isn't even that hard to unlock. But you know what I said to that? I think it is, and here's why. Obviously, unlocking this doesn't require a whole lot of difficult challenge or absurd amount of grinding or anything like that. All you have to do to unlock it is become Pirate Legend, and then it becomes available in the Athena's Fortune Shop. But getting this set requires you to play the game a whole lot to be able to afford everything. If you want the ship set, the accessories, the weapons, and the whole outfit, it's going to come up to just around 79 million gold. Because it's so expensive, you'll often see players rocking one or two parts of this set that they think are extra cool, but you probably won't see too many people running around with the entire set equipped. At number 7, we have the Soul Flame Crew Set. The Soul Flame Crew Set is currently a very unique item in the game, and that's because there isn't any other crew sets that you can buy in the game with gold, and only one other crew set at all, and that one costs ancient coins. But this one makes it onto this list because of its challenge to get, and it's also quite expensive. To unlock this crew set, you'll need to get the Vanquishing the Damned Commendation, which requires you to complete the Fort of the Damned 25 times. If that wasn't already enough of a challenge, you'll then have to save up 5 million gold to purchase it. After you get this crew set, It'll allow anyone that ever joins you to pick between three extra costumes that match the Soul Flame set that you'll get, which is especially great for those roleplay pirates. At number 6, we have the Shores of Gold Curse. Getting the Shores of Gold Curse is a challenge of stamina and willpower, to say the least. To get this rare curse, you'll need to complete every single commendation in the Shores of Gold Tall Tales, and I mean all of them, including the ones that require you to repeat each Tall Tale five times. Apparently achieving this is still pretty rare, with about 1 in 270 people actually having this curse, or about 0.37% of players. But I mean, to be honest, it seems pretty worth it to go through this grind to have this really cool curse to show off. I still haven't even touched Shores of Gold, but I can't wait to get into it and finally unlock this one. At number 5, we have the Fate of Fortune ship set. The Fate of Fortune ship set takes number 5 on this list because of the crazy amount of risk that comes with doing the Fort of Fortune in the first place. If you didn't already know, to unlock this ship set, you'll need to sell 30 chests of fortune, which can only be obtained from the vaults at Fort of Fortunes. Not only is this world event a bit rarer than others when it comes to spawning on the Sea of Thieves, but it's also the most contested event in the entire game. You'll always be competing with other pirates to grab this legendary treasure. Not only that, but once you finally fight off all those enemies to get to the chest of fortune, Fighting through all those crazy Ashen Lord bosses, you'll need to hand over 1.5 million gold to the shipwright to be able to finally unlock these sails. But I mean, come on, look at these things and tell me it's not worth it. At number 3 and 4, we have the PvP curses and their gold counterparts. According to the Xbox achievement page, only about 0.07% of players have unlocked these curses, which by itself is quite rare. Needing to reach 75 in Reapers and 100 in Servants of the Flame to unlock the Skeleton Curse, or needing to reach level 30 Athenas and 100 in Guardians of Fortune for the Ghost Curse. That can be quite a grind. But there are even rarer counterparts for these curses, the Gold versions, the Gold Ghost Curse, and the Gold Bones. There is currently no achievement for reaching level 1000 in the PvP factions, so we don't even really know how many people have them. But even if we completely guess and said 5% of the people with the base curses have them, that would still be a staggering rarity of 1 in 30,000. And to be completely fair, I think we're being overly generous with our estimate here. 
Another incredibly rare item is the Ancient Cutlass. This sword requires a ton of grinding to get. In fact, exactly 100 Veil of the Ancient Voyages worth of grinding. And since this one does have an Xbox achievement, we can see what percentage of the player base has this item. At 0.01%, it puts this at the rarest achievement in the entire game. That means only about 1 in 10,000 players have this sword. And probably even less than that since the Xbox achievement page doesn't display a more precise decimal. The number one rarest item in the game that's still obtainable today is the Verdant Bones cosmetic for the Skeleton Curse. This cosmetic is so rare in fact that the only picture that comes up when you google image search it is the one from wiki.gg. And the only real video footage I could find of it was from a YouTube channel called Core. He has crazy good PvP guide videos by the way and I definitely suggest checking him out if you're into that kind of thing. The reason why this is the single rarest obtainable item in the entire game is that it's extremely challenging to get. To unlock it, you'll need to get a 50 streak in Hourglass while representing Servants of the Flame after performing the Ritual of Flame, aka getting the Skeleton Curse. So you could say that the prerequisites for this one are already pretty complicated and very challenging to get. But unfortunately, with the current state of Sea of Thieves, this cosmetic is getting harder and harder to obtain because getting large streaks is getting harder and harder. Of course, players are getting better and better all the time, which is really good for the game, but also there's a lot of cheaters currently that will just teleport and kick your ship. I don't want to get too far into that because that's not what this video is about, but I can't even think of a way to describe how rare this item is. Honestly, shout out to Core and anyone else who has this item because you've really achieved something crazy in this game.